I can earn money while I sleep. Yeah, exactly. I love that. You created a money-making machine for me. Hi, I'm Stuck, and today I'm here with Andrut. Hello. You're you're actually one of the founders of Detectify, right? Yes, yes, I am. I've been dying to learn how you create submissions within Crowdsource, which is the part where you can submit cool findings into Detectify's engine and get paid when things fire. Yeah, that's right. So we do kind of the traditional vulnerability scanner mm -hmm. approach. Cool. But yeah, I mean, you can submit your own submissions to us and we'll automate it. So I find cool stuff. Yeah. I submit it to the platform. Mm -hmm. You fire it off on customers that I can't touch, which That's means right. they're out of scope for me, yeah. but in scope for you. Yes, exactly. And when that thing fires or my findings fires on the system. Yeah, then I get, you get money. Then I get paid. Yes. That's a win, win, win. Happy, happy times for Stuck. Yeah, that's the income. <laughs> awesome. It's Love it. for you. Can you show me how it works? Absolutely. Ta-da! Time <laughs> to log in. Time to log in. Very, very nice. So this is how it looks. Uh, this is the dashboard. So a submission. It, you basically go to the big purple button in the top. Yep. So it can be like a CV. Uh, I don't know. If you have a CV, there. Yeah, if you have a CV. Okay. Like uh, WordPress. Or XSS or something. Oh, nice. Does it need to be me finding it, or can I? No, you can submit uh, whatever. And for... So I can steal somebody else's bugs and, and get money. Technically, it's, a, <laughs> it's a probably better for you though if you uh, make your own stuff, yes. your own content. It's yeah. better for community as well. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but we can't really stop you. No, of course. Yeah. But then again, the whole idea is that there's no limitations in there. Right. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Cool. So on that part, we can look at the affected technologies. Mm -hmm. So here is kind of our list of targets that we are interested in and it's quite a long list you see ah this is the targets you are interested in yes but if you have something that you think could be a relevance for us yes you can go to these other technologies oh click it and then you can fill in what it what it is and so it's no hard limits in that sense we are interested in things that could be affecting our customers and you will triage that in some yeah, way we will triage that yes ah, okay cool yeah so mm, i'm i'm curious though so fill in other you can submit it and you're going to triage it. And make it can sure be something completely crazy that we never heard about. But most of the time it's like you have this confluence system and with some vulnerability mm. in that. And we're interested in knowing the proof of concept and how to replicate it. But if you have something completely new, we're happy to triage that as well. So the other day I was just looking into Gitea. This is a system. It's uh, kind of like GitLab. Okay. But ever so slightly different. It's open source and stuff. It's like a, an underdog to GitLab. But the thing is, if you get the default Docker container, mm -hmm. uh, it have public registration enabled out of the box. Oh. So you can just click here, and if you get this register page, yeah. you're good to go. You can uh, sign up. And oh, and, you, be... and you'll be part of that organization. Yeah, exactly. And then ah. you can access the source code and stuff that might be in there. And it's enabled by default. And it's enabled by default. I... It's a simple little config, so you can I need to disable ask, it. though, have, yeah. you, have you showed Undorked it? Uh, yes, I have. It's and like uh, find... 15,000 systems right now. Ouch. Okay. Yeah. So but no... I don't know how many are have this enabled though. Of, yeah, course, of but... course, we're not poking at things we're not allowed to. Exactly. But out of curiosity, would it be possible that any of the detecting my customers would be running it? If yes. so, adding it to the crowdsource might be a good idea. So what would we call it? Like, I don't know, Gitia Public Registration? Yeah, and here it even prompts now that uh, we have something that matches this name kind of similarly. Yeah, we can go to the scanner modules page. We show everything that we have implemented in oh. Detectify. So here are the things that we have uh, right now. So we have some ex star exposure. Yep, from Jesse. Oh, and we have an XSS from Cordnik. Okay, but, but not, not this one. Not the registration one. No, I don't know what we should call it. The vulnerability type, like a. I don't know. Uh, access control issue or misconfiguration or something? Misconfiguration. Misconfiguration. Is this a CVD? No. Not a CV? Nope. Uh, description. I have cheated a little bit. Oh, yes. Like the TV chef you are, you're already mm, prepared. Mm, yes. I'm happy for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty <laughs> good, right? Yes. Thank you. Mm. It makes my life easier. Yeah. And the proof of concept. Uh -huh. Yes. We can see here what I've written as well, see if this makes sense. So you can go to user slash sign up. Yeah. Yes. And if it's disabled, you will expect to find this string. Yep. And that's 
pretty much all we need to know. We need to know that it's a form, if it's movable. Yeah. And then I brought the uh, uh, Docker Compose file that I've been using to try to test this locally. It's oh, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. So, so you're adding that as a part of... Yeah, yeah, because it helps us then to triage the book, the submission. Ah, okay. Because if you have the same config as you did, so like any yeah. kind of bug bounty report you're writing, the more you're explaining what's happening, yeah, the easier the it will be for us and the faster it will go out mm. into our customers. And that's it really. The rest here is uh, optional fields. Okay. Uh, it's not a requirement for us to have those, but it helps as well. Okay. For the sake of this recording, I'm just gonna hit submit now. We are done. Cool. And that's that. Out of cur curiosity, and this is me because I'm. I'm loving blind stuff, mm -hmm. like, uh, and I know that you are probably most interested in unauthenticated kind of things that yeah, you're exposed, absolutely. right? Yeah, uh, most of the time there is no authentication for us to log in. Yeah, and it's a tiny fraction of systems. And at this day and age, more and more systems getting protected by WAFS and everything, yeah. and you need to create bypasses, and sometimes you need or particularly in the thing that I look for is usually very blind. Mm -hmm. And I highly uh, rely on a something like an out-of-band server or a personal collaborator or something. Mm. Is there any way to add that kind of thing into yes. the system? Yes, it is. Sweet. We, yeah, we, we can look for DNS probes coming in, like kind of like for uh, oh. collab. So the callback is going to be generated yeah. so you can verify that it hits. Yes, exactly. So we have a system so we know exactly when and where the probe was sent and oh. where it hit. So, so in, inside the template, it's going to be added, like... You yeah. know, and, and we have you... a little placeholder oh, cool. for where the domain is going to be. So when you put in the report, you'll add, this is going to be blind, out of yeah. the it's going to happen, and then you guys will add it yes. to the template. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> so it's a, really quite similar to Nuclei. So, yeah, and, and that, that's going to be my second question. Since a lot of people in the community are already submitting or creating... Uh, things to the nuclei repositories. In this way, you have a chance to get paid on customers yeah, for sure. that belong to Detectify mm -hmm. and then get uh, some kind of earnings in that. Uh, can we talk about how much you get back at a, at a kickback on this kind of stuff? We can look here now with my screen. So yep. this is quite uh, old stuff, but mm. it's been running like this one 2 million times, this one 40 million times. Mm. And here we can see the amount of hits. Yep. And the range of money you get is Typically between two and a hundred dollars. It depends a bit on criticality. Per hit? Yeah, per hit. Sweet. Now all of these are set to zero as I'm a founder and everything. But yeah. Obviously. 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 <laughs> yeah. But is it open for every, anyone or how, how can you be part of Crowdsource? Yeah, when you go to uh, Crowdsource, you press this little button and you apply. Ah. And uh, we want you to go through a little uh, CTF we made. Okay, so it's so a Docker container, and you have all the source code and everything, and we would like you to find the vulnerabilities. Ah, cool. So there's a bit of training part of it, yeah. a vetting that if mm. you understand this kind of stuff, then you're in. I guess it's a way for you to identify that people people actually will be skilled enough to submit things to yeah, the platform. Yeah, exactly. Wow, so we learned today how to sign up, and we also learn how today to how to just add in the things into the system. And final last question, primarily, what are you looking for? What, what do you want to have submitted into the system? I mean, what what do you want to submit yourself? What are you good at? We are interested in anything that can affect our customer system. If it's unauthenticated and it's web, it's very good. Then we have all the tools in place yeah. to automate it. And if you like blind attacks. Yep. And that's your speciality. Then it go is. for that and submit us stuff in that space. I can earn money while I sleep. Yeah, exactly. I love that. You created a money making machine for me. Yes. And you're, you're welcome. And, and you're running the automation for me. Yeah. Great. Isn't well, that to, nice? Yes. And all I need to do is submit <laughs> the template. Yep. Man. On that note, might be worth uh, pointing out the ugly buckling project. Uh, so it's a way for you to make a template. And oh. if you submit one of these templates to us, it goes even faster. Then we can convert it directly to our uh, tooling internally. So, okay, so if you learn how to submit using an ugly duckling, which is probably similar to Nuclei templates yeah. in a way, yeah. uh, where you set your post, you request your header, and the things that the matches, uh, yeah, of yeah, course, you know, that, that's, how um, it, that's how it looks. Nice! Yes! Wow, Frederick, thank you very much for showing me how crowdsource works. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Yeah. Yay!